Let's talk about hair growth and what to expect. The hair growth process can take a relatively long time. I tell people that it could take about 12 months to see your hairs grow back. However, you, some people see results at six months and some people see the results around the 12 to 14 month mark. So during this process, your hair goes through a couple different phases. As you can imagine, when we transfer hairs during your procedure, these hairs become a little stressed. Whenever a hair becomes stressed, it goes into a dormant phase and it can stay there for about three months. A lot of people say after their hair transplantation, they feel like there hasn't, their hair hasn't grown at all. In order to get back into their growth phase, a hair must shed. So anywhere between a month to four months after your procedure, people will say that they see all their hairs falling out and it can be relatively scary, but it's a normal part of the process and it means that those hairs are moving their way into the growth cycle. Between the period of four and 12 months, these hairs will start growing into place. You might notice that hair, some hairs sprout very easily. You'll notice that some hairs will have um, a little pimple as they come out and some will um, come out and fall out and just go through the cycle until they finally grow. However, when your hairs come out around 12 months, there'll be a couple things to notice about their quality. They might be a little dry and they might be a little curly. And that's because uh, the oil glands haven't kicked in yet. If you had an FUE procedure, some oil glands will kick in. If you had the PUE procedure, then about 80% of your oil glands will kick in, making those hairs smooth and shiny at about the 18 month mark. So I usually tell people that expect growth by 12 months and expect your hairs to look in their final stage by 18 months. And after that, it's just growing them to the length that you like.